What's up guys, I'm Nick, and welcome to Thunderdome. Just kidding, welcome to Build Dad Build, where two men enter, one man leaves. Your mom. What's up guys? I just wanna stop in at the beginning of the video uh, to just let you know a couple of things. One, this is an art piece that I made. It's not like a piece of furniture or whatnot. So if you're looking for, like a, I guess a more functional build, you may wanna just wait until the next project. Uh, this was something that I just, I, I kind of was inspired to do. But I did wanna mention going in, that there was two stars to the show here. The first star of the show was uh, the dye that I ended up using in the end. Uh, you'll see I wasn't happy with the color palette. And this dye was actually suggested to me by one of my Instagram followers. Uh, he's uh, Becker's Boards. And he told me about it, or he'd asked me about it. Um, they carry it at Michael's. And the reason I'm telling you about it in the beginning of this video is because it's currently on clearance. It's like a buck 99 for one of these little bottles. And at least the red, I bought a bunch of colors, but at least this red color is probably one of the best wood dyes I've worked with. So I'll link it in the description to, to Amazon because that's where I buy most of my stuff, only because I can't find it on Michael's website anymore. So I, I just want you to be able to see the bottle and then um, it's just on clearance racks in different Michaels said, and they said that once it's gone, it's gone. So my wife and I are actually probably gonna go hit a bunch of Michaels in town and pick up and fix them up because it is, it's that good. The second star of the show, I wish I had the container up here, but I accidentally punctured it. So it's now kind of a Frankenstein of tape and whatnot, but it's the Halcyon finish from uh, Total Boat. That stuff's amazing. It's the only stuff I've found so far that when I have a charred piece where there's actual like chunks, like the gator, that you can paint that stuff on there and it solidifies the char. And next, I want to thank the real stars of the show, my Patreon supporters. Guys, your continued support helps me buy materials, it keeps me in whiskey, um, and it helps me do this full time so I, can, so I can get more videos out. So thank you so much. And an extra special thanks goes out to Mr. Stephen Mann. You know why. And then the real, real stars of the show are all you guys. Thanks for all the comments. Thanks for everybody that subscribes. If you don't subscribe, consider subscribing. 75% of my viewers do not subscribe to the channel. So if you're just seeing me come up and you're recommended over and over and over, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, it would really help me out. Also, if you have any making related questions, head on over to our Discord channel. I'll link that down below as well. Uh, we got a good group of guys in there. We've got kind of all levels of skill and everybody's very helpful. Um, we also like to brainstorm quite a bit. So, uh, so head on over there and check us out. Check out the Patreon page if that's something you're into. All that stuff helps out, guys. So thank you so much. Cheers and clinkies. But seriously, guys, thank you for all your support. And without further ado, because that was plenty of do if you know what I'm saying. Here is the video. Enjoy. <sighs> Lately, I've been getting a little bit of inspiration on Instagram and on YouTube from some guys that are just doing some crazy carvings, like art carvings, like kind of wall hanging-esque. Uh, Nuge Wood comes to uh, to mind from uh, from Instagram. From a Seed is uh, is on Instagram. He also has a YouTube channel. Uh, if I think anybody else, I'll link them down below. But they make these crazy art pieces where they take a flat piece of wood and they carve it into waves and just organic shapes. They're just amazing. So this week, I want to try my hand at that. Mind you, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> what else is new, right? The other reason for this project is I'm kind of acquiring like some, a lot of excess lumber from projects and things like that and building the stuff for you guys. Uh, the materials aren't free. So, uh, so every once in a while I like to just kind of use the stuff that I have in the shop. So what I've done is I've taken a bunch of just like two by fours that I've used part of or whatnot and I've cut them all down to the same dimension. So they're all about this big and I'm going to glue up just a, is it, is it a billet? If it's wood, I know it's a billet if it's, if it's metal. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna glue up uh, a block. Let's go with a block of wood. And then I'm gonna do what I do. Uh, I'm gonna take the Arbortech turbo plane and use that to kind of rough out what I'm looking at. But uh, first things first, I gotta glue all these two by fours up and I don't know if I have enough glue. All 
right, got that piece glued up. Uh, and for all like glue Nazis out there that are gonna tell me I didn't use enough glue, one, I was really low on glue, and two, uh, my thought was, at some point I'm gonna take a torch to this, and it actually might work in my benefit for uh, it to fall apart at that point. Because <laughs> that way I could, I could burn some of the pieces really deep and some not as deep or not at all. Uh, so I, I, I kind of went with less glue and kind of just did it down towards the bottom uh, to see if that may or may not happen. And if it doesn't happen, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it was something I took into consideration and thought, if it happens, it happens. Now, in the true nature of having no idea what I'm doing, I'm going to just kind of sketch out some lines on here, see what I think, um, and then do some rough carving. Okay, break. So it's kind of like. It's kind of a trip to just, just go, man. <laughs> um, so I've got it down to kind of, I guess, rough dimensions. <laughs> Think. Uh, so I'm gonna go at it with a uh, with a flap disc now. This is a 120 grit flap disc. Uh, try to smooth some of this out and uh, see what kind of shapes we're getting. I really want to light it on fire, but it's like four o'clock and I go pick up the kids. So I will light it on fire tomorrow. Um, I started to do some contour sanding and stuff like that. And then I realized, hey man, I'm gonna set this thing on fire. We may or may not have to sand after that. It depends on what kind of textures it brings out. Uh, we may have to adjust after that, but getting it all polished up like a nice little turd uh, is not their best idea before we, uh, before we put the torch to it. So I'm gonna call it a day. Well, I say I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna sweep a bunch of this stuff up and then I'm gonna call it a day. I will see you tomorrow. All right, guys, it is the next day and uh, it's freaking freezing here. I know you northerners are gonna think I'm crazy, but it's like 45 degrees out and uh, I have to have the garage doors open or it's, uh, it's a little dark in here. So luckily we're working with the torch today and uh, without further ado, since I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm just gonna burn this thing, see what happens. Let's do this. Don't be a zero, glove up like a hero. So here we are currently, and right now I'm just trying different stuff. I kind of feel like my Nihilax brush here is kind of my eraser. If if something, if I want to, if I want to get rid of a color, I just kind of, I kind of go after it with this. I'm trying to do several different layers of color here. We'll see how it turns out. I can tell you right now, I'm not super happy with it. It's a little darker than I'd like it to be, but we'll see where it goes. Have faith, my brothers and sisters. Have faith. Now, I did have somebody comment on my video where I did the writ dye saying that in order to break down the salts in the dye, the water has to be warm when you mix it. So, what I have here is some writ dye, some purple writ dye, um, that I heated up in the microwave before I mixed it up, and we're gonna see how the purple does today. Does anybody else cannibalize their kids' uh, old clothes that don't fit anymore for uh, for shop rags. They're a pair of my daughter's jammies. Look, it's dynamite. <laughs>
All right, pardon the lawn, people. Uh, this is just real quick. I just want to show you where we are. We are right here. <laughs> I didn't like it, so I burned it all off. Um, the beauty of using the torch is uh, after I had those dyes on there, they just really weren't working for me. They're way too dark. It wasn't giving me the effect I wanted to, so I just lit it up, brushed it again, and I have a clean slate. So we stopped. Oh. All right, now we've re-dyed it, and I went with my signature, not really signature, but uh, I went with the, the dark blood red because it's my thing, man, I like the color. So originally, jeez. <laughs> so originally, I was going to do like a graduated, like, a, like an ombre dye, and then I figured, why should I mess with two different colors when I'm using a torch anyway? I'm gonna paint this with a torch, so I'm gonna have my graduation go from black to red. So, uh, that being said, I think we shall part it. With this hat on and these these welding goggles on, I didn't realize how much I looked like Will Smith from Hitchcock. Well, not like that. Just the, the overall aesthetic, not the you know. He's 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 a good looking guy. I'm not. I'm the candy man, bitch. I'm the candy man, bitch. I'm the candy man, bitch.